All right, so I am, we are going to be taking some summary notes about mixtures and solutions. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take your paper and I want you to fold it in half. I want you to fold it in half. And I always like to kind of fold down the, not always, but sometimes I like to fold down the top just like this. But it's kind of like my little title area. Okay, so I, I should have two big sections and two little sections. And I'm just going to do this. This is mixture. So I'm going to make the left is mixtures. The right is solutions. So let me zoom in a little bit. All right. So the first thing I want to do is um, give y'all a second to do that. Mixtures and solutions. Okay. Then um, I'm going to write the definition for mixture and a definition for a solution. So a mixture is a combination. And if you notice, I'm not taking up the whole space with my definition because we're going to put a lot of information in here. So it's a combination of two or more substances where each keep their own properties. And are easily separated. So, a mixture is a combination of two or more substances where each keep their own properties and can be easily separated. Um, I know that's probably small on your screen, so I'm going to zoom in so that you can write it. Again, this is just a small piece of my paper. Small piece of my paper. This is not taking up the whole space. I'm going to give you about two minutes to write this down.
All right, I'm going to zoom back out so we can go write the solutions one. So the definition for solutions is a mixture of one substance dissolved evenly in another. So solutions is a mixture of one substance dissolved evenly in another. And I want you to see this word mixture. This word mixture. So I'm going to zoom in on that so that you can see it. Give you a minute to write that one down. A mixture of one substance dissolved evenly in another. All right, so now I'm going to zoom back out so that we can see both of them. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like make a it's another like bullet definition, and then we're going to use, um, then we're going to write what tools are used to separate them, processes to separate them, and examples of mixtures and solutions. So we still have four more things for each section that we need to write. So, um, First thing is mixtures maintain physical properties and mixtures are easily separated. Whereas solutions don't maintain physical properties oh. they are not easily separated. and they are evenly dissolved. So again, mixtures maintain physical properties. They are easily separated. Solutions don't maintain physical properties. They are not easily separated, but they are evenly dissolved. We'll give you a couple minutes to write that down.
give you one more minute. So remember, mixtures maintain physical properties. They are easily separated. Solutions don't maintain physical properties. They are not easily separated, but they are evenly dissolved. All right, some examples of solutions or mixtures and solutions. Some examples would be like a salad, trail mix, chocolate chip cookie dough, Um, sand and water, sand and iron and water. Um, some examples of solutions. You have salt water. Kool-Aid, um, lemonade, Windex, Sugar water, tea, So again, examples of mixtures are salad, trail mix, chocolate chip cookie dough, sand and iron and water. Um, you can probably say oil and water. Because the oil floats in water. Examples of solution is salt water, Kool-Aid, lemonade, Windex, sugar water, T. I'll give you a minute to write that. All right, 
The next thing we are going to talk about is tools for separating. So tools to separate. So tools to separate mixtures might be a magnet, a filter, like you could probably filter out the sand and the water, a strainer. Um, I think of a strainer like a mixture would be when you are boiling your spaghetti noodles Oftentimes we put it in a strainer so the water runs off and we're left with the noodles. That's a mixture, so we use strainers for that. Um, our hands. I don't know how often I've eaten Skittles or M&Ms and I've separated out the colors. That's in, Skittles and M&Ms are a mixture so that you can separate it out with your hands. Um, tools to separate solutions would be a hot plate. A hot plate is kind of like a single burner on a on a stove, um, and a pot. And I don't know if any of you or somebody in your house has ever left water or something boiling on the stove long enough. If you leave it long enough, the, the water boils off and you're left with whatever was left in the water. So if you ever do that with salt water, you'll be left with salt. So again, um, tools to separate mixtures are magnets, a filter, strainer, or your hands. Tools to separate solutions is a hot plate or a pot. And I will give you a minute to write that. All right, the last thing we are gonna talk about is the process to separate. The process to separate. So the process to separate mixtures is, um, well, you just pull apart by hand or um, sort by hand. Um, you might attract with a magnet. You might filter. Or strain. So to separate mixtures, you might sort it by hand like we would M&Ms, Chex Mix, or Skittles. Um, you can use a magnet and I I don't have one, but they have like these little magnet ones that you can run over things. And I don't know how many of you um, watch a whole lot of YouTube or TikTok or anything, but one of the things that we see a lot is, um, I don't know if you've ever seen fishing with magnets. 
I've seen these videos where these people have these high powered magnets that they throw in the water and they're pulling up like metal and stuff. So that's another way that they're separating the, um, the mixtures because the metal inside, um, the water gets pulled up by the magnets. So you can use high powered magnets. Um, process to separate mixtures is going to be through, um, you dissolve, you can, um, yeah, dissolve. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Let's try that again. You can dissolve, you can evaporate. Um, you separate, and it's usually through boiling water, through boiling. The solution. It's usually through boiling the solution. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to give you a minute to finish writing that, and then I will instruct you on how to get it in your journal. All right, some of you may not be done writing, and that's that's fine. Um, I am going to continue with the teaching, but if you need to go back, you are welcome to. So, I have my journal. You need your journal, okay? This is going to be on page four, so I'm going to put the date. Remember, you have to put the date. Today's date is the 10th. This is mixtures versus solutions. And I'm going to glue it on page four. So when you go to put it in your journal, you should have four entries by now, right? We should have four entries, four things that we've done. And again, I know that my page my page is bigger than my journal. So remember, I'm going to go to page four. So there's my page four. And I'm going to glue only half of it down. So I'm going to fold it back in half. You can use glue or tape or whatever it is that you need to do. I'm going to glue it in there. All right. Then don't forget that you need to go through and um, you are going to take a picture of it. You're, then you're going to attach it to the assignment and make sure you hit submit. Okay. All right. Again. This 